Hello everybody and welcome to the last part of this tutorial. After making the board, now we will apply a solder mask to help conserve the traces and give the PCB a more professional look. Cut the dry film to the board size and turn on your laminator. Using some tape, peel off the frosted protection on the dry film and apply it to the PCB. Then pass it through the laminator. Do the same for the other side. For better results, use some cold water to cool down the PCB. Match the solder mask artwork with both sides of the PCB pads. Expose the PCB to UV light. If you don't have any UV light source, you can expose the board to direct sunlight. Leave the board in the dark for 50 minutes to 1 hour for best result. Peel off the clear protective film from the PCB. To remove solder mask from the pads, we will use sodium carbonate, commercially known as soda ash, and some warm water. Using a brush, gently rub the board to expose the pads. Rinse the board with water. Using a drill press or any other drilling device, drill the holes on the PCB. Using a small circular saw, cut the board to the desired shape. Remember, safety is very important. Be careful and use the appropriate protection.
Here is our finished product after soldering the components. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more awesome tutorials and click on the link below to watch the second part of this tutorial. Thank you.